Hey, hey, family. Kiki Soto here, Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. Today, you guys are going to hang out with me and family um, outside. We're going to be doing quite a few things. I'll show you guys just a few. We're going to be transplanting some of our strawberries that have literally run it over. They are way out of line. <laughs> so we're going to be digging them up and transplanting them um, somewhere else. Kids harvesting dandelion flowers because I'm going to dehydrate those for later use, for teas, for salves and stuff like that. The other night at the evening in the garden, the littles got some pansies and they want to plant those up too. So we're going to do that as well. Um, we're also going to do some cleanup in the garden. You guys may or may not see that. We'll see how that goes. I don't want this video to be super long. So hang out with us for a bit. All right, family, we got quite a few things to get done today. So we're going to start by adding the pansies to the window box planter. Now, I wish that I would have thought about spray painting it or cleaning it up or something before I planted it, but it's all good. I'll probably do that later on this season or next season, whatever. That planter is here before we got here. Anywho, so I'm just moistening up the soil and I decided to go and grab some chamomile to go in with the pansies into this planter. The chamomile reseeded everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean even in the cracks of the sidewalks, like chamomile's everywhere. So I literally just pulled these plants out of a pot um, and they're gonna go on with the pansies and you can never have too much chamomile anyway sky pie was supposed to be helping me but she got her cheetos she chilling and i'm using potting mix from aldi's remember i told you guys about the potting mix that aldi's had a few weeks ago so they restocked so i restocked <laughs> and so far i really do like this potting mix so this is how the window planter turned out it'll liven up you know they're, they're in shock right now the seedlings but They'll perk up probably in another day or so, and that's where it's going. Window box, check. And now it is time to work on these strawberries. They are finally getting some life back into them. They're looking good. We got some little blooms already, and I'm excited about this strawberry season. Look at all those little blooms. Anyway, so last year, this strawberry bed just sent out runners galore. And I mean, I didn't even bother like cutting them. I didn't bother pulling them up, trying to stop them from rooting down into the ground. It, it is what it is. Now, you do not have to let your strawberries run. You can cut the runners. If you're more concerned with like fruit production than multiplying the plants, then go ahead, cut those runners off. I think it's actually recommended for like the first year or two to cut the runners off, but me, I didn't care. <laughs> there were so many other things that were more important, but um, I'm glad that we have these extra plants because I know exactly where I am going to put them. Now, if you don't know what strawberry runners are, it's like the plant having babies or pups, like how you would get um, a pup from like a snake plant or a banana plant. It's just the strawberry plant starting another life having a little baby so if you want that then all you have to do is let the plant at the end of the runner root down and then you can cut the baby from the mama like an umbilical cord and you have another strawberry plant so i'm going to take the strawberry plants over to my mini stackables and these are not the dollar tree ones i got these off of amazon honestly i really don't fool with dollar tree like that like i go but i don't I don't, I'm not a fan of the stackers. That's just me. I'm not knocking anybody who is. So I'm just going to freshen these stackers up with some soil. As you can see, I did have some spinach in there. Um, it was full of spinach except for the top. The top was um, sprinkled with Parisian carrot seeds. And I don't know if you guys remember, there was like a week, maybe a few weeks ago of like crazy winds all week long. It was all over the U.S. And definitely here in New York, the storms were crazy. So these planters, they got knocked over. And I'm just disappointed about the top layer where I had the carrot seeds because now I won't get my Parisian carrots. And that was the last of the Parisian carrot seeds that I had. So I do have to order some more just reminding myself <laughs> and of course little sky pie is helping me fluff up 
the soil, but I didn't notice that she was patting the soil down like that when I left. I think that's adorable because she must have seen me doing that, trying to just like even out the soil a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack these up and then we are going to plant up our strawberries. So as you saw, these plants are super healthy. So all I'm doing is like pulling out any weeds that may be in the soil. I'm really not messing with the roots too, too much because I just don't want to damage them at all in any kind of way. I want them to be ready to produce. Like you can see on that strawberry plant right there, there's definitely about to be like some buds and stuff. So I didn't want to disturb the roots too much. I just cleaned them off whatever grass or weeds was growing with them and stuck them right in the planter. So I am well aware that there are some empty spaces there, but I'm hoping that if these plants decide to send out new runners, they'll run right over to <laughs> the next available space in the stacker and just plant themselves right there. Now, Let's move on to these dandelions that the kids harvested earlier. I washed them, I patted them dry, and now they're gonna go into the dehydrator. There is some uh, Creeping Charlie in there as well um, that they picked up by accident. It's fine, Creeping Charlie is edible. It's also very good for you. It's uh, um, like an expectorant, kind of like hyssop. It's what Robitussin wish it was, but nature gave it to us naturally. So if you do use it, I mean, you can dry it, use it as a tea, you can um, eat it as a like a salad or something like that, or saute it as greens. Like, if you have Creeping Charlie and dandelions all around you, you are good medicinally, and you will not go hungry, y'all. Nature really does give us everything that we need, okay? The dandelions are anti-inflammatory. They are a natural diuretic, so I can use them as a tea, but they also have skin calming properties like for acne and antimicrobial. So you could also turn them into a salve, which maybe I'll do that also. But anyway, these guys are gonna dry and we are moving on to potatoes. So if you guys remember, I posted on my community board a couple of weeks ago, I found some potatoes in my house that were all sprouted up. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just plant them. Now we're not big on potatoes in this house. Like once in a while, the kids would want like home fries or mashed potatoes or something like that. But we don't go ham with potatoes, which is why those potatoes had time to sprout. So I'm just gonna stick them in here, y'all. I'm just gonna grow them. It ain't gonna hurt, right? I mean, I'm not growing a whole bunch. And if they produce, they produce. If they don't, then they don't. I'm using old potting mix with new potting mix. I threw some bone meal in there um, for phosphorus since it is a root vegetable and phosphorus bone meal is to help plant root. And then I added my pine um, pet bedding mulch at the top, water it in, and that's it y'all. Good to go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Learn with me. Grow with me. I love y'all for real. Bye.